Hi there, Aries. This is the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I'm getting right into this because I have tried your, <laughs> I've tried to do your reading a lot today and had some issues. So, whew, finally, we're just going to read it how it is. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all the support. And um, send out my love to you too. All right. All right, bottom of the deck is Judgment in Reverse, Ace of Cups Reverse, Ace of Pentacles Reverse, Ten of Swords Reverse, Wands, the Hierophant Reverse, Seven of Pentacles Reverse, Reverse, Two of Swords. Okay. So this is about letting go of harsh judgments, maybe regarding, maybe regarding ourselves. Usually it starts off with uh, people judging themselves and then that's why they're so critical outside of themselves. Um, the Ace of Cups is like there's something that's going to be, you know, started um, possibly over again for you or another opportunity coming your way. The challenge is, can you see that opportunity or can you ever imagine, you know, having something over again? Because it's a feeling of like, I don't feel like I'm going to see an opportunity, but you are. And the reason why is because at the heart of the matter, you've done a complete reinvention of yourself. The Ten of Swords reversed, a complete reinvention of who you are. The Four of Wands is the past energy and that is about something that um, it was a celebration of sorts. You, somebody else, participation in something that has a goal that's much bigger. I'm used to seeing other people um, there too in the background. Usually there's a lot of people with that four of ones, not just two. This could be about soul purpose too. What's the Hierophant energy up there about? That's the only one that I'm not reading yet because I don't know necessarily what that one's about yet. The Hierophant in reverse. Tell me more about that. King of Pentacles. Aries, there is maybe a switching up in a partnership or something that you're just kind of done with so you're walking away from and it, it's in order to keep whatever this is it's it's about good business it's about finances looking really good and it is about doing something in a non-traditional way to get there and you do it you're successful temperance energy is how you are feeling so this might be very good in finances and business doing something a little bit unconventional the temperance energy making the impossible possible with the help of spirit intervention your angels your spirit team if they help you then that's exactly what you need to use you use what works for you and what works for you is something that only you're going to know making the impossible possible the two of wands energy here is your challenge. Um, you can make anything possible that you want. You have the pyramid of personal power here on you and your angels because you have focus, drive, and ambition. The four of pentacle is in the reverse. Letting go of your attachments to old ways of doing things, or it might be about letting go of having to always listen to somebody else. Like, okay, <laughs> how can I word this? If you have ever been shut off, closed off, and you don't want to hear what anybody else has to say, this is the opposite of that. <laughs> 
So if you feel upset, closed off, like you don't want to talk to anybody, that might just be the time that you actually need to talk to somebody. I hope that makes sense for you. Sometimes these feel like very personal messages here. Um, tell me what this reinvention is about. Oh, so you're coming out of the Five of Pentacles energy and you're feeling this, um, in a way, you're feeling like there's not many opportunities here that you like or that you want. And it's, it's, it's a true test of patience and divine timing for sure. You know, it was like a year before this, this place actually made me money. It was about a year. Um, before this company did, or this right here. Uh, and that whole time, it was really hard to keep saying, um, I'm going to keep doing this every day when I was not getting paid for it. Um, and I was trying to work on high health at the same time. It was kind of challenging. But if I could do it, you could do it type of deal. The Five of Pentacles here is... Um, coming out of a time where we felt challenged in a sense however this is it can you know i see this as the church um windows it doesn't have to be church though it could be whatever religion you know if you associate with religion some people don't some people are atheists too and um that's all right also you choose what you want to be or what you want to do and the Five of Pentacles is about sometimes we do need to reach out so that we don't feel like we're going through something completely alone. Okay? So that's kind of what I'm seeing in that. As that message. Let's see. With your reading, I'm not getting the regular stuff. We're just getting different messages. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. All right. Wow. Wow. This is also about, oh wow, okay. This is about, so what you've invested in in the past is going to really pay off right here in this future energy because the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is coming um, away from having to have patience all the time because it's finally coming true, something that's finally coming for you. It is about a complete healing and rest time for contemplation but it, it, it is going to be a time where you get to say okay recovery recovery now rejuvenate t think spa <laughs> but it's at the end of a you know a very difficult time but you come out of it the queen of swords is with the knight of cups yeah okay so it feels like it was time time see there's biddy Time for you to make the decision to follow your own truth and follow that. Find it and then follow that. And your truth, by the way, is based on your, you know, your own experience and what you actually believe in. And I don't really give opinions on what people should believe in. I think that you should believe in what you feel comfortable in, what makes you feel comfortable. The Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So um, this is unexpected. This is something coming towards you regarding truth. And it's coming true. Unexpected offer. An unexpected offer. Perhaps maybe an unexpected uh, proposal to here, Aries, for you. If you are looking at this reading like that. This might be about ready to commit in a different way. The two of swords energy. Two of swords energy. And the seven of pentacle energy again. So it's like you're hoping and you're thinking about all the wonderful seeds that you have sown. 
truly the time and attention and the, the choices that you've made up thus far. And then those that you think, okay, there's now a big decision and I have to choose from this with this Two of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles is like you have the patience. You've been doing this for quite a long time. The Empress energy is in reverse. You know, with the Hierophant in the reverse, I would say that something's being done in a different way or an untraditional way. Empress energy feels like rest and rehab for some because of that being the Four Swords. We're finally fixing a long-standing issue that has to do with either the birth and creation of your project or... Um... What, Beauty? What, Beauty? Come here. Come here, Beauty. She just wants to stand in front of that door. All right, so I'm going to have to get off here and figure out what else I can do to help her. So the Empress energy, like I say, is focused on themselves. Time out, contemplation, healing. Yes, healing, a very heartbreaking situation in which very well aware that not everybody agrees and that people might have differences of opinions. But at the end of the day, the highest good of all is for somebody's healing. And that I feel like is still the highest good of all. The Hermit finding your um your light inside you that's always been there to let it shine thank you sending you love and light you're appreciated bye-bye